Welcome to our Just Say It training videos. And today, I want you to take note of all the different roles that happen whenever we share the gospel. This concept is from author Sam Chan. It is not from me. And so we're going to read the gospel experience of the Thessalonian church in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, 4 to 10. And then, here's going to be an interesting exercise. We're going to identify the following roles. What is God the Father's role? What is Jesus' role? What is the Holy Spirit's role? What is the evangelist's role? And what is the non-believer's role? It's not as complicated as you think. You're, this is going to be a great time for you to pause the video and do the work for yourself. And if you do, your brain is going to light up way more if you do the work rather than for me to give you the answers. And again, in evangelism, there are five parties involved whenever the gospel is shared. We have the Trinity, the messenger, and the hearer. So what is God's role? What is the son's role? What is the spirit's role? What is the evangelist's role? And what is the hearer's role? Pause the video right now. Do the work. Take a look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, 4 to 10. Now let's look at the answers. First, here is God the Father's role. One main role stood out in this passage. Take a look, verse 4. For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you. The Father's main role is to choose and to elect. And so that's good news, whether you're a Calvinist or an Arminian, for all of us evangelists, is that while we're proclaiming the good news, the Father is behind the scenes, and he is choosing, he is electing, which means that salvation and belief and persuasion, that doesn't depend on you and me. Now let's look at Jesus' role, and it's atonement. Take a look at verse 10. Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. And then Paul shared the gospel. And, and so his role happened already with the cross and the resurrection. And so Jesus' role is in the story. The message of the gospel is about Jesus. Third, what's the Spirit's role? It says in verse 5, Because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. For you receive the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit's role is to give this power, conviction, joy, persuasion when the gospel is communicated with our own words. And so when people finally believe and they just know that this gospel is true, and, and maybe they're smiling. Maybe there's tears of joy or physical trembling and shaking. That's the spirit right there. Fourth, what's our role as evangelists? It says in verse 5 that the gospel came in word. Therefore, our role is to proclaim the gospel in Jesus' story in word. Now, this could be voice. This can be text. This can be audio. What exactly do we say? In verse 10, we see what Paul proclaimed to this church in Thessalonica. First, he proclaimed that Jesus delivers us from the, God's wrath through atonement. Second, Jesus was raised from the dead. Third, Jesus is coming back. Fourth, we need to turn from idols. But there's more to the evangelist's role than just to say it. And so our next role is to be examples Verse 5 also says, You know what kind of men or women we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord. And so one of the things we find out is our character as evangelists, it's also communicated alongside the gospel in word. And so an evangelist must be worthy of imitation. And that only is made possible and only happens if evangelists fully imitate Jesus. Finally, here is the non-believer's role. They imitate the evangelist and Jesus. We just read that. 
And then they become examples for others themselves. Verse 7, so that you, Thessalonica, you became an example to all the believers. So next we find that the hearer's role is to also repent or to turn to God. Verse 9, how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven. So what we're looking for as evangelists from the hearers isn't someone to be sorry and miserable and guilty. We're looking for turning. They're turning from other gods and turning their lives over to the true God. The hearer now has a new relationship with God. And so we see five different roles. I hope that as you study this, may you find encouragement that when you just say it, you are backed by Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our role is to just say it and to live it.